Hello, class. Welcome again to Mathematics Year Two class. We are still looking at fraction and decimals. Today, we are learning how to convert fraction to decimals. Let's take a look at the content standards for today. Today, we have a lot of content standards starting with 3.2.1, convert fractions of tenth to decimals, 3.2.2. Okay, say decimal numbers of 0 0.1 up to 0 0.9. 3.2.3 show decimal numbers of 0 0.1 to 0 0.9 3.2.4 represent diagrams based on given decimal numbers last one 3.2.5 write decimals as Given. We look at this diagram. Wow, so many colors. How many parts are there? Count. There are 10 parts. Okay, 10 parts are 10 bahagian. Let's count how many are red. 1. So, for the red, only 1 over 10. How about the one in green? 1, 2. So, the green one is 2 over 10. How about the yellow? 1, 2, 3. 3 over 10. The blue? 1, 2, 3, 4. 4 over 10. Okay, we need to convert this into decimals. 1 over 10. These are fractions, right? We need to convert into decimals. So, 1 over 10 is equal to 1 divided by 10. 1 over 10 itu sama juga 1 bahagi 10. Can 1 divided by 10? Okay, 1 times 10 is already 10. So, it's only 1 times 0. We get 0. Then, the remainder is 1. We put a point here. When we put a point here, okay, it's a decimal point, you bring in a zero. So zero, it becomes 10. 10 divided by 10 is 1. So we don't get any more remainder. We can see that 1 over 10 is equals to 0 0.1. We call it 0 0.1. One. This one? Okay. Same. 2 over 10 equals to 2 divided by 10. Can 2 divide by 10? No, right? So, we can only times 0. 2 times 0 is 0. You get the remainder of 2. When you put the decimal point on top, you get a zero at the bottom. 20 divided by 10. What times 10? Apa darab 10 sama dengan 20? 
two, right? So we didn't get any remainder. Two over ten equals to zero point two. Same goes to for three over ten. Three over ten is three divided by ten. Again, zero times three equals zero. So we get remainder of three. When we put the decimal point up there, we get a zero down there. So can 30 divide by 10? What times 10 equals to 30? 3. So we don't get any more remainder. And 3 over 10 equals to 0 0.3. How about this one? 4.10. Okay, 4 over 10 is 4 divided by 10. 4 cannot be divided by 10, so 0 times 4 is 0. We get remainder of 4. When we put the decimal point, we get another 0, so 40. Can 40 divide by 10? Yes, it's 4. So we don't get any more remainder. Tak ada baki. 4 over 10 equals to 0 0.4. So to convert fraction to decimals, okay, this is a number line, and you have learned the fraction. 1 over 10, 2 over 10, 3 over 10, 4 over 10, 5 over 10, 6 over 10, 7 over 10, 8 over 10, 9 over 10. So, the first four we have done just now. 1 over 10 is 0 0.1. 2 over 10, 0 0.2. 3 over 10, 0 0.3. 4 over 10, 0 0.4. 5 over 10, 0 0.5. 6 over 10, 0 0.6. 7 over 10, 0 0.7. 8 over 10, 0 0.8. 9 over 10, 0 0.9. Simple and easy, right? There's a pattern here. Remember, this one is 0 0.1. This is 0 0.2. Say it together, 0 0.3. Next one, 0 0.4. 0 0.5. 0 0.5. 0.6 0 0.7 0 0.8 Last one is 0 0.9 Now we proceed to writing decimals or write decimals how do you write the name for the decimals? Just now I keep saying it, right? So this is zero point one. We say it zero point one. We write it like this. Zero is spelled Z E R O. Zero point is P O I N T point one. You should know how to spell one, right? This is the decimal point. That's why you call it point. Next one. Guess. How do we write this? Zero. Point two zero 
point two. Next one. Zero point three. How about this? Zero point zero point what? Four. You should know how to spell one. Two, three, and four. Okay, remember the spelling for zero is Z E R O. Zero point point. So it's P O I N T point. We continue. This is zero. Point five zero point six zero point seven. Zero point eight. Last one. Zero point nine. How about drawing the diagram? If zero point one, you remember what's the fraction? It's one over ten. So you need to draw ten parts. Okay, ten parts like this, and you only color one part. So this is zero point one. Same diagram as one over ten. Zero point two. What's the fraction? Two over ten. Same thing. Draw ten parts and color two parts. You get zero point two. Zero point three. The fraction is three over ten. Draw ten parts and color how many parts? Three. Zero point four. Fraction is four. Over ten. Out of ten parts, you color four. Zero point five. The fraction is five over ten. You can also draw ten parts like this, and you color five parts. So this is zero point five. Zero point six. The fraction is six over ten. Ten parts. You color six parts. It's up to you which one you would like to color, as long as you color the parts correctly. Zero point seven. The fraction is seven over ten. So. Out of ten parts, you color seven. Next, zero point eight. Zero point eight. The fraction is eight over ten. We can also use the round diagram, but it's harder because you have to divide the parts equally. Agak susah sikit kerana masa kamu melukis kena bahagi sepuluh bahagian sama besar. Tak boleh ada yang besar, ada yang kecil. So there are currently ten parts. 
how many parts you have to color? Eight. So let us count. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Eight parts. So this is zero point eight. Let's take a look at zero point nine. The fraction is nine over ten. If we use the same round diagram, make sure you divide it equally into tens and color how many parts? Nine. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Only one part left that is not colored. Okay, today we have learned what is decimals. Okay, remember when the decimals you write the name or say the name is zero point, zero point one, zero point two. Okay, if you still are not clear, rewatch this video again. For your exercise for today, First thing you got to do is to draw the diagrams. Lukis diagram untuk 0.1 sampai 0.9. Draw the diagrams for 0.1 until 0.9 in your exercise book. Lukis ah dari 0.1, 0.2, 0.3, 0.4, 0.5, 0.6, 0.7, 0.8, 0.9. Di dalam buku tulis kamu. And another part is to complete page 94, 95, and 96 in your mathematics year 2 activity book. That's it for today. Thank you and see you again next time. Goodbye.